For this lesson, I'm going to discuss the use of scatter plots. Scatter plots are often used to show the relationship between two or more variables. The data set is from my online course. It is named Absenteeism Predictions. The goal is to show the probability rate of a person being absent or tardy due to transportation expenses. In the original video, the data has been visualized in Tableau, but here I'm going to show you how to do it in Power BI. Let's start by selecting a scatter chart. For us to have an easier view, I'm going to adjust the size of the visual, like so. We're going to have to drag the probability rate in the y-axis. I don't want the values to be summarized. Probability is often expressed in percentage. The way I can think of now to convert a range in the y-axis to percentage is to make a new column. We will name this new column percentage probability. Percentage probability is equal to the probability rate times 100. Again, we don't want this summarized. That's great. For the other variable, the transportation expense, we will try to drag it into the x-axis. Also, we do not want our values to be summarized here. Let's name our graph transportation expense versus probability. To further visualize the graph, I'm going to add a trend line. What can we now infer from our visualizations? We could say there is a positive correlation, and the trend line aids us to see that. Perhaps, if our data set contained a larger set, we could say that our correlation is much stronger. Only then can we say that the higher the transportation expense, the higher the probability that the person will be away from work. But what if we want to add another factor in our analysis? Say we want to add how the number of children could affect our graphs. We can add this field to the box named size. As we release our mouse button, we immediately observe the size of our circles to vary. We will change this field to max. The higher the number of children in the family, the bigger the circle. Let's add another trick to further enhance our interpretation of the graph. We can filter them with colors. By adding a field children to the box legend. Notice that a new legend called children appeared on the upper left of the visual slightly below the title. Let's select the color sky blue or the observations with no children. Hmm, what can we derive from these visualizations? It points out that people with no children don't exhibit much probability for excessive absence. Aside from this, none of them have high costs for transportation meaning they can live near the workplace except for this one outlier. Let's move along with the data for those with three children. It shows that there is a high probability that these people with these observations, more children, and live further away, will be gone from work excessively. Alright, that concludes our session. Kindly help grow this channel by clicking the like and subscribe button. Thanks and see you again.